Well, honestly, I mean, a resilient strategy is, is really focused around the fact that we're going to take attacks, you know, and you want to go ahead and you want to minimize those attacks. You want to be able to go ahead and, you know, how you put your security program together, how you're dealing with your infrastructure, your security controls, policies, everything that you put together, you know, for a security and a risk management program. You want to make sure that when you do have these types of attacks, you know, that your organization doesn't go down. They don't lose vital services, you know, and it doesn't impact, you know, how we do business, or at least it minimizes, you know, the impact, uh, like vital business operations. The threat intelligence piece for me is we get inundated with, a, with just tons of anonymous, not anonymous, but like um, just tons of threat data coming from sensors and all kinds of things on the networks. And the, the threat intelligence that we use helps us clear the noise. You know, it helps us go ahead and clear it to where, you know, my staff is not looking at, you know, thousands of logs. Instead, it's looking at several hundred. And then from those several hundred, you can then fine tune it down to even, you know, more to where you now you're looking at say 30 or 40, you know, and in those 30 or 40 incidents, you can look at, okay, which ones are actionable, which ones should we be able to go ahead and go investigate to make sure that we don't have like a ransomware outbreak or something like that. And so for threat intelligence, for me, is it does, it helps us clean that noise to where it allows my teams, which are small, to be more focused on things that we really need to be looking at to protect our, our company.